Hey Stash fans, happy Friday. I hope you had a good week. Uh, I had a good week. I went to the Indian motorcycle demo, as you know, on Tuesday, and I didn't have a camera when I went riding, and I got some static for posting videos without any riding there from a fellow motorcyclers. So, I decided to go out to Best Buy and get a camera. Ta-da! The GoPro Hero 6 Black. Uh, so tonight we're just going to do a quick video, we're going to do a quick unboxing of this and I was so excited to get this that I forgot to get a memory card with it but uh, luckily Amazon to the rescue with same day delivery so that just arrived so very awesome so let me get the camera set up so you can get a close up of the unboxing and we'll get started Alright Stash fans I'm trying to hang the camera up vertically like I did again yesterday now that I get the GoPro, I think it will be easier. I did order an accessory kit for the GoPro that comes with all sorts of mounts and such. I think it's like a 20 piece, 26 piece kit. I ordered that. It should be in probably within a week. Uh, this is the memory card that I forgot to order yesterday. And I think I probably got a better price on it at Amazon than I would have at Best Buy. At least per Best Buy's website I looked. Um, now, I'm not... Uh, for or against Best Buy at all. Um, I know there's plenty of places you could go get a camera at and I shopped around to see if I could find a, a, a different price. All the prices were the same. Uh, the only reason I went there at all as opposed to other stores is because I'm a rewards member and I thought well you know after so many points you get... Well look at that. Uh, after so many points at Best Buy, you can start collecting to get like, some rewards. However, I almost didn't go to Best Buy simply for the fact that I had to go to two Best Buys because the first one I went to, um, they were standing around gossiping and apparently them gossiping and talking about their day was more important than taking my money. So I went to another store and they were busy. I waited but they helped me out as soon as they could and they are more than happy to take my money so I don't know I never leave that store feeling happy but I am feeling happy this time because I got what I wanted so that's pretty cool alright so here we have the scan, di the scan disc I did some research online and apparently they say the best ones are the U3 uh, because they're made for like the 4K, the UHD, the ultra high definition so I figured some of the memory cards I had probably weren't good enough. They were a different series. But a lot of people said that the ScanDisk was good. The Extreme Pro was awesome. It would work really good with the GoPro. It also came with this little USB um, jump drive, I guess, to put the, the thing in to use the computer. But I don't know if I'll need it because it came with the one to plug in. My computer's got the slot for that. So now what we've been waiting for is the GoPro Hero 6 Black. Now per this, uh, I've done a lot of research. I don't remember all the exact specs but I'm sure YouTube is filthy with people unboxing and explaining and showing off and as right they should be just like we're doing because we're super excited to have a new camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera. It can do 4K at 60 frames a second which is a really big deal because the Hero 5 I think can only do 4K at 30 frames per second. So that is very good, especially since all the TVs are 4K and stuff. And, if I'm not mistaken, the first time ever this one is waterproof to 10 meters without a additional case. I also believe this one has a zoom feature, which the old ones did not. So that's really cool. It also records 1080p at 240. Uh, and, yeah, I don't have any experience with the GoPro. This will be my first ever. But since I'm an avid motorcyclist, I figured I'll get one so I can start recording my motorcycle sessions. I also like to figure out how to open it. So it doesn't pull apart. But I see that there's this little perforated strip here, so it looks like maybe... Huh. <laughs> Nothing is more satisfying. So, so far so good. Yep. I mean, I don't think you need a physics degree to open one of these. I don't know, maybe you do. I don't... Ooh, I don't know. Hmm. Wait a second now. Let's think about this. It can't be that hard to open. 
or can it? I don't know. Maybe it is. It's just stuck. Okay, so we got this cool hard plastic case. Don't need a right. Just set this here. Here is the itty bitty tiny cute little GoPro. I'm actually very excited. I've never, like I said, I've had this before. Never had one, so very exciting for me. New times. All right, we open the box, and let's see. We got USB cable. This is probably for charging. We have this stick amount, which is curved, and it looks like it might stick right on the front of Molly's helmet. So that is also exciting. Let's see. We have a battery, a cute itty bitty tiny battery. Sorry, I keep moving. I'm having a camera a different way. A cute little itty bitty battery. And, oh, look at that. We got another stick and mount. So, hmm. Either they're not that good at sticking, or you put one on your vehicle and one on your motorcycle. So, I don't know. The accessory kit I'm getting has a whole bunch more sticky mounts. So, I'm going to have to get creative with where I put these sticky mounts. And I think it's going to be exciting. Also, it comes with some GoPro stickers. This is very important. Um, this always improves the product. Actually, I'm being funny. I don't put stickers usually on my vehicles because I figure that's advertising uh, for the company. And as much as I love certain products, I try not to advertise for them too much without getting paid because advertising is a billion dollar business. So I figure if I, if I advertise like anybody else, I think I should get paid for it because companies spend billions of dollars, you know, throughout the world to advertise. So that's free advertising for them. And even though they may have a really, really awesome product, I don't know. Oh, and it comes with a warranty card or something. Uh, from the instructions, it looks like you open it up, you put the battery inside, you call it a day. So, can't be too hard. We will figure it out. Oh, and then if you don't feel like looking at pictures, you can actually read. But come on, really? It's the age of YouTube. We don't need to read. We just look it up. All right, that's all the goodies that are inside this box. Fold this back shut now, and now we got to figure out how to release the camera from the top here. It looks like it's fixed on a mount. Oh, and look, it even comes with instructions to do it. That's pretty cool. Flip that up like so. Slide that like so, I guess. Ta-da! So that's how the mount works. That flips up and these push in. So I haven't had a chance to really play with this yet. I've never experienced these, even other people, so we are going to try to figure out how to put this battery in. It says step number one is actually supposed to get the GoPro app, but we will do that when we are done playing around. This is more exciting right now. So it looks like, since this is watertight, it's going to be difficult. But we open this up. From Picture I'm falling in other directions. Oh, man. Ah, there we go. So then that, okay, that opens up. Then the camera comes out of here. So try to do that without touching the lens and also there it goes. There we go. So that's the case. Put that there. And this is I guess the itty bitty tiny camera. Man, this thing is cute. It's like one of those little spy cameras you would see from one of those James Bond movies or Austin Power movies. That's cool. Um, Alright. There we go. It looks like a Let's put a battery. Oh, ta-da! <laughs> cool. All right, take the battery, and just the battery just goes in. Oh, oh! I also need to put the uh, the memory card in. So, dang, that thing's tiny. All right. I guess it goes. There's this little tiny spot right here. I got my big hands in the way, I'm sorry. There we go. Memory card. Okay, it's one of those ones where you push it clicks in. Get okay, memory card inserted. Battery inserted. That is shut. And it looks like there is two uh, little ports here. There's an HDMI micro HDMI and then the USB so we're gonna put this on charge and then we will come back later um, to show a little bit of recording with it 
Hey Stash fans, it's late on Friday night and there seems to be a problem. As you can tell by the quality of the video, I am still not on the GoPro. It's been charging for, oh I don't know, probably close to five hours now and it's still not charged. That's weird because the instruction manual and the internet said two hours if you plug it into a wall, four hours if you plug it into a computer, it's been plugged into the wall. So I don't know, maybe because it's the initial charge it needs longer. I, I did some research online, I couldn't find anything else except for just needs to charge. So I don't know if there's any problems. And then I pulled out the other camera that we were recording with before, and as soon as I started talking, the battery died on that. So I guess it's just a night for batteries. That's okay. So since it's already well after 10, we just got back from the gym. I'm just going to call it a night. And then tomorrow... Uh, Tomorrow, I will, hopefully, if the camera's charged, I can do some shooting with the GoPro. This is my first time ever using a GoPro, so I don't know about the settings yet. I will figure that out as I go, so it will be a, a learning curve. Hope you bear with me then. Uh, but anyway, uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow, hit like. <laughs> Crap. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you can find me on Twitter, at Molly Stash. And make sure you turn in tomorrow for more Molly Stash.